Runway threshold markings are essential for aviation safety as they clearly indicate the start of the runway's landing zone. Misunderstanding these markings can lead to catastrophic accidents, such as the tragic crash of Comair Flight 5191 in 2006. There are several key aspects to understand about runway threshold markings to ensure safe operations at airports. First, the colors of runway markings and lights play a crucial role in providing vital information. All runway markings, including threshold stripes, are white, distinguishing them from yellow taxiway markings. White edge lights are used at night or in low visibility conditions, helping pilots see the runway's boundaries. Additionally, runway and identifier lights rail flash white to assist pilots in identifying the runway during final approach. Green lights mark the beginning of the landing zone, while red lights indicate the opposite side of the runway. Taxiway edge lights are blue, and when approaching a runway, yellow lights on taxiways serve as warnings. Second, there are two main configurations of runway threshold markings. One configuration features for stripes on each side of the center line, while the other has more stripes depending on the runway's width. For instance, a 60-foot wide runway will have for stripes, while a 200-foot wide runway will have 16. Pilots can use the Aeronautical Information Manual, IM, to determine the width of the runway based on the number of stripes. Third, runway markings also vary by the type of approach the runway is designed to accommodate. There are visual non-precision instrument and precision instrument approaches. The markings help pilots assess the type of approach required and ensure they are prepared for the correct landing procedure. Fourth, some runways feature displaced thresholds, which indicate the landing zone begins further down the runway. These thresholds are typically used for takeoffs but not landings, as they are designed to ensure obstacle clearance or reduce noise for arriving aircraft. Displaced thresholds are marked by white arrows and a threshold bar that denotes the start of the landing zone. Airports like San Diego International and John F. Kennedy International have notable displaced thresholds. Lastly, a relocated threshold is different from a displaced threshold. When a runway threshold is relocated, it means the entire threshold has been moved and the area before it is no longer available for takeoffs or landings. This change is typically due to construction or maintenance. Relocated thresholds are marked with a white threshold bar, yellow arrows, and may involve a notice to airmen. Notum, to inform pilots of the adjustment. Understanding these runway threshold markings is critical for pilots and airport personnel to ensure safe flight operations, especially when navigating challenging weather or terrain. Pilots should always consult charts and notums for up-to-date information on runaway configurations and restrictions.